Good day and welcome to another edition of Smart Drive ERP tutorial videos. Today, under the HR uh, system, we'll be looking at lead management system. My name is Uko Niabasi and I'll be your presenter for today. Okay, lead management system is a platform that allows employees to track their use and available vacations and individual status with just a few clicks. In addition, the employee is able to create several vacation policies according to the company standards. These systems are able to effortlessly plan and manage the employee time. They enable the HR department to easily manage the presence of employees working in different time zones, uh, multiple locations and shifts. So uh, the importance, uh, Smart Drive Leave Management System improves uh, the employee's morale so as to attain a good work-life balance, which will definitely keep the employee happy. Also, when the employees are happy, they tend to have increased performance, creativity, and productivity. Their quality of work improves, and they pay more attention to detail. Now, employees value paid leave. Giving the benefit of a paid time off can increase employees' happiness and morale which has an ultimate effect of improving employees' retention. And this will actually reduce unplanned costs of the company. So these are the steps you need to take when using a smart drive VRB leave management system. So be sure to use these steps. I'm not going to hop into the system and show you how it works. Okay, so on my dashboard, I go to leaves. Now, we have to create, the first thing we need to do, according to the steps, is to create lead types. So let's create that. You click on configuration, lead types. So you have annual leave, sick leave, maternity leave, parental time off. So to click, to create one, you just click on create here, and then you are going to create. Or well, let's just look at one of them that I've created. Uh, parental time off. Okay, so if I click edit here, so you fill in the leave type name here, and then take leaves, it's a, it can either be in day or in hours, depending on the kind of organization you're running. Now, this allocation, uh, this is, you can either uh, select fixed by HR, which means the allocation of these leaves can be fixed only by HR, or you want the option where you can actually fix it by HR and allow request, where the uh, staff, to, the employees will request, but then it's still fixed by HR, or you want a system where employees can uh, create allocations for themselves. And now, uh, validation. You can make it a uh, double validation or single validation, depending on how your organization runs. You can have uh, team leaders and office. The team leader can be one of the validation, and uh, the uh, office uh, HR manager can do the second validation. So after filling all this, you just click on save. Now, the next thing to do is actually to, let's allocate some leaves so that employees can actually uh, create requests for leaves. So you come to manager menu. Now, know that this menu, this manager menu is only for managers. Employees will not be able to have access to this menu. So you come to allocations here. And then we'll just create one. Okay, good. So now, uh, I'm going to page for parental time off. The description we call it uh, parental time off. And then the mode you can select if it's by employee, and then you select the employee here. Or if you pick by department, you see all your departments here, so you select. If you want it to be by the company, you see the company name here. So today we'll just be dealing by employee and then the administrator. So let's add, allocate some days to it. So let's give it a, let's say 50 days for this employee. So he has 50 days to actually uh, request for leave a year. So I just save this. And then since I'm the manager, I'm the HR manager, I can approve this and then validate, uh, validate it. So once this is done, uh, 
now we are going to actually request for leaves. So you click on my leaves here and then click on request for leaves. So I already have some leaves here, so I'm just going to create one. And then I'm going to pick, I have 50 remaining days out of 50. So this actually gives you a brief analysis of the number of days you have left for leave. So I pick parental time off and I can say today till this. So I, have, I want to pick, let's like, say three days. Then I just say, uh, Going home. Then I save this. Okay, so you can have two different leaves overlapping at the same time. So since I've already created leaves one now, uh, let's say I create for uh, next month. Let's say next month ninth. Uh, be going to see my dad next month night so i just click save so i've requested for leaves now back to the manager menu where you can actually approve those leaves so now to approve here you just click on leaves and then if it's out, it's only to approve so i can see my brand data time up here and the description here going on so you can actually select this and then click on approve Now I have on the chat menu here it has gone from approved to second approval. So I validate the second approval because earlier we selected second approval for parental. So I've approved this. Uh, so the employee can actually take those leaves. Now you can come to summary here to actually check the remaining number of days you have. So you can see here time off is two days, the number of days you have is 49. So like I said, like I did here, I just picked one day. I took today to today, just on 6th of, uh, on July 9th. I won't take that leave, to, I'm going home that day. So I have 49 days left. So this actually gives a brief analysis of, the, uh, of your leaves. I also have some annual leaves here. I still have five days for annual leave here. I have used some of the leaves here. So I can actually have that brief, uh, analysis so i can actually check it by this view and then for parental time off i have this i've used one and for this one i've used this so aside that uh, you can actually come to managers here if you are the manager like i'm the manager i can actually check the amount of leaves that uh, everybody has so here i just have a view of everybody so i have one other person here if a jack who is a, an employee of mine who actually took leave here. This one, uh, I refused this leave as a manager. They allow me to take this leave for whatever reason. And then I have put parental time up here. So uh, you can view it in another format. So you have all the leaves here. So as a manager, you can actually view your, the number of leaves so you don't, so you know what's going on, so you don't overleave someone, you don't give uh, someone too many leaves you can actually track the amount of leaves uh, the employee takes and then i can actually come to overview here to see the leave so here i see that on my calendar uh i took 15 days off and uh, if a jack took two days off so i can only choose to see the one for one of my employee and i can choose to see the one for everybody i can choose to see only for administrator so this system is very flexible enough to actually give you brief details and the diagrammatic expression of the number of leaves that an employee takes. You can actually do by per month here, per week, per day, if you like to. And then now let's go for the reporting section. So this reporting, uh, you can actually check the leave analysis. I didn't want to be looking at this uh, 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 calendar form. I want to look at it in a graphical format. So I can see total leaves are taking here is 23 days, while one of my employees is only taking two days. So you can actually note that. You can actually check it in uh, 
my chat form. And then we can actually check it in this format where you have it in a sort of Excel format. So you have May, the total number of leaves that were granted in May, the total number of leaves that were granted in June, right? And then the employees at this uh, side. So you can actually uh, download this here in Excel. So you can have this uh, 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 tabular format of how many leaves are being uh, granted in the month. So you can actually uh, do the, a little reporting. Let's say I pick from first, and then I want to check uh, the type of lead that were granted on a, for a particular department. Let's say sales department. I want to check the total number of leaves in a report format for uh, sales department. So I just click on sales here, and then I choose from first of this month. I want to check everything on this month. Now I want to check approved. You can choose, you can check both approved and confirmed. And then click on print here. So it's actually going to give you a, 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 a nice report on how that looks like. So let's check out the report. Wow, this is how the report looks like. So you will actually see all your employees here. So for HP Jack, I can see it has two days up here. And then it, this tells you what it is. So it has two days annual leave here that has been taken up. So uh, this is a, a leave management system where you can actually track the leaves of employees and actually grant leaves to employees. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, visit us uh, on our website, odonigeria.com. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.